everyone, my name is Linda Tolbert and I'm one of the kindergarten teachers at Horizon Christian. Um, I've been blessed to be hired after retirement from the White Salmon School District. I uh, taught there for over 35 years and the majority of that was in kindergarten, which is my place that I love the most, which you will as well at Horizon. Um, today I've been asked to give just a brief overview of our reading and math programs to give you an idea of what to expect. First of all, we welcome all students at all levels. We use um, two different assessments, the Dibbles and the Fonses Pinnell Reading Assessment to get an idea of how we can meet the needs of your, your child coming into kindergarten. It is a very transitional period of time, especially those first few months, just getting ready to routines and how we do calendar, how we sit together in a group. So um, it's just a very special time. And also it's a very long day for your kindergartners. So don't be surprised if they're gonna be coming home pretty tired because we have a pretty full day here at Horizon. So our kindergarten curriculum is based on uh, meeting the needs of your child at the beginning of the school year, looking at levels, looking what skills they're bringing. So we introduce our letters and sounds. We gradually start using different fun manipulatives like this as far as blending sounds together to form words. We also start reading simple sentences using what are called our high frequency words, which when we refer over here, looking at our word wall that we introduce up to 37 new high frequency words within the school year. So the reading curriculum is a, a very transitional that once a word or skill is introduced, then they practice that in a workbook. And also we have big books that we also introduce what are called concepts of print. So this may be something you wanna start at home this summer is talking about the title and how many words are in the title versus how many letters. Boys and girls don't understand those, those simple concepts such as that. Talking about what the job of the author and the illustrator, talking about the dedication paper. Um, also, we get into a table of contents. We also provide different genres of reading as far as looking at nonfiction, um, what those different features are versus a fiction feature. Um, and what they might find in those. Um, in our reading program, we have different levels of readers. So those students that need more support in letters and sounds, we have a level of book for that. Those that have the, uh, a good start on their letters and sounds and starting to read simple words, we're looking at that as well. And then we have another le level where you're thinking, well, gosh, my center daughter knows all of their letters and sounds. What are they going to be able to learn in kindergarten? Well, we can start off at the very beginning of the year with simple text and transition them. So to give you an idea, I probably had four or five different levels of readers this year in my class of 14 which is just such a wonderful opportunity to, to meet their needs because of our small class sizes. It's just such a gift to be able not to only have that personal connection with them, but to be able to teach in a small group setting is just very fun. And then also in our reading program, we have other than our readers, we have songs that we sing every day. We have different poems and we also have a writing um, connection where we have a journal and then when we have a story, we'll add like maybe a response. And one thing they learn if, for, um, if there's a problem in the story, that there's probably going to be a solution and they get to understand what that uh, vocabulary means. We also have what's called robust vocabulary, which the boys and girls are exposed to. They're not expected to be able to write or spell, but just that exposure of what some of those, um, what what uh, those special words would be, what their meanings are. Um, also, um, along with our reading and our writing, we have a Bible curriculum that we teach Old and New Testament stories from. And we also have our Dear Math program. So those are the three areas that I focus on in the morning. And in our math program, we have, so we'll have a big book. We've just been on our Zoom, we've been talking about money. So here's an example of, of maybe a lesson that you might see in their workbooks. So we teach all the different strands of math. And so we'll start out with just basically number identification, but by the end of the year, they're expected to 
Identify numbers to 20 and count to 100. We also practice skip counting by fives and tens. Um, for, this is an example of our workbooks. We have addition and subtraction. We just finished up geometry and fractions. Um, we also have patterning. We do a lot of graphing in kindergarten. The first thing they do when they check in in the morning, they have their magnetic person and I'll have a question of the day that they need to answer either with their person under the yes or the no and we count each category and use comparative math language as far as greater than, less than, equal to. And then also here's an example of we just um, we're working on two-dimensional and three-dimensional shapes. And so during also reading and math times, boys and girls are rotating through different practice activities as they're um, meeting with me also in a small group setting. So in our math, we also have a lot of manipulatives that our math program is manipulative based with some extra practice in our, our math program. So, um, so with that, I, I just wanna encourage you to know that wherever your child comes, whatever skills they bring, that we will meet them with arms open wide and love to greet them and work with you on uh, providing the best education that we can here at Horizon. Hope to see you in the fall, and if you have any questions, please be sure to call our school, and I'd be happy to connect with you. Have a great summer, and see you soon.